Following on from an earlier video where one of the commenters believed that I was wrong about what I said about consumer law, I wasn't by the way, I've clarified it in that video, but the commenter goes on to say why is it then that cases end up in court if the law is crystal clear? So I thought this is a point very well worth addressing because many of you might have this question, why does a case end up in court if the law is so crystal clear? Well let's take a very simple scenario, you've got two parties A and B. A buys something from B and obviously B provides the goods but the goods come across, there's something wrong with the goods and A has a right under the Consumer Rights Act to a repair or replacement or a refund. Let's say for whatever the reason is they've ended up in the position where they have the right to a refund, a final right to reject or within the first 30 days but company B simply outright refuses to provide the refund. In law they are required to provide the refund but they fail to do so. What is party A going to do about it? Well they can hardly go and bang on the door and beg and plead and threaten and things like that because the begs probably won't work and the threats are going to be illegal so they can't do either of those, neither of those are going to lead to a resolution. So they end up with a faulty product in hand and no refund. The only recourse they have is to go to court to get the court to make a decision on whether party B, the company, is liable to make the refund and if they go all the way to trial and the court says yes party A is right, the law is crystal clear, company B is to provide the refund, then if that's the case party A has won the claim at court, the court will order party B to pay the money. Even then they may not pay the money, strictly speaking they're then in contempt of court if they refuse to pay it. That's why there are enforcement mechanisms within the civil procedure rules such as third party debt orders, charging orders, attachment to earnings and writ and warrants of control whereby party A can execute any one or a number of these enforcement mechanisms to recover the money. So that's why cases end up in court.